Podcast und Tim Designs Werker. Tutorials. Hello everyone, this is GKGFX from .o2designs.com and today's tutorial is on Photoshop's content aware scaling. Now many of you are aware of a normal transform in Photoshop. However, if I were to just transform this, as I'm going to use the shortcut Command T or Control T on a PC, it just slides and the children get smushed. Now, if I were going to do that without smushing the children, I would have to do a lot of messy cutting and pasting right in here between them to try to get them closer together to say get it from a landscape picture into a portrait size picture. But, with Photoshop's new content aware scaling, that is completely unnecessary. All I have to do is come up under Edit, Content Aware Scaling, and down on the canvas, it doesn't look any different than it used to be. However, if you come up here to the top of the screen, you will see that there is a Protect feature, which I'll explain in a little bit and a protect skin tones feature. If I undo that, it won't protect skin tones. But however, however, since my picture is dealing with people, I will click the protect skin tones. Now I'm going to come down here and to demonstrate this, I'm just simply going to click and drag the picture in. Notice how the boy is not being smushed at all. And in fact, Neither is the girl. Now I'm going to simply undo that real quick. And say I want to make this bigger instead of smaller, wider. So I will all I have to do is come up here and increase my canvas size. I'm going to increase the width by two inches. And go back up under edit, content aware scale, and just drag the sides of the document out. Notice nothing on the children is stretched and your image is protected. Just click hit enter and voila your picture is saved. Now I'm going to demonstrate another feature and that is the protect feature. Zoom in a little bit. Now if I were to do content aware scaling on this scene right here, edit content aware scale and drag down the boat is protected, but notice it's still slightly smashed. Not as good as it could be. So I'm going to undo that. And to do this, all I need to do is make a selection around the boat. And it can be a very rough selection. And I mean rough. Don't worry about getting precise at all. I am going to right click and feather about 15 pixels will do depending on your image size then I'm going to come up under select and save this selection as a channel we'll name it boat okay now I can unselect that and come up under edit Content Aware Scale, and under Protect, I'm going to protect the boat. Now, what this will do is it will smash everything except the boat. So as you see, as I slide this together, the boat is fine. I can, in fact, get a very nice compact picture before the boat starts to adjust at all and anything starts to distort. All you have to do is hit return, and the transform will be applied. This is a great new feature. It will save many people a lot of time and stress, including myself, and I'm sure you will come up with fantastic ways to use this. Now before we go, just do a quick image, trim, top left pixel color, to get rid of all that white, and there we go. You go from this to this.
just like that. That's everything. Don't forget to check out www.o2designswithaz.com.